Well guys, the app is finally here and I'm really pleased to do this first video. Okay, we've been waiting for a while and we all heard it was delayed. However, it wasn't delayed long. It's been like, it's six days over overdue from when the announcement was, was made. I mean, six days. And it's really, really good. I mean, I installed it as soon as I got it and I found out about it. I installed it to my iPhone and I was in a 5G area and I was getting over 500 megabytes per second on full route to the EU, uh, Brussels it was, and it works superbly. It's not perfect, it's still got a few things that need to be worked out, but it's amazing. And I'm going to install it now on the Mac that I've got and uh, we'll go through it. Alright, so first things first, we've got Brave Browser. Now I, I only really use this for deeper stuff because I've got Safari. So we're going to go to dpn.deeper.network. It's the official domain name of Deeper. It's all official. It's all safe. And go there. And this is the DPN app logon page. You need to make an account. It's free. In the referral box, you don't actually need to put anything in. So don't worry about that. Now this is my current internet speed without the app. And it's also without a Deeper device as well. Now I normally get one gigabit per second. But for the past two weeks, I've been having real problems with the internet. And it goes up and down, but it's roughly around about 100 meg per second. It's normally a gigabit, um, but you know, I'm not bitter or anything. So we're going to log into our deeper device, our, our DPN dashboard. So you can basically see what's coming for when you um, get the subscriptions and things. It's really basic. They're probably going to add a load more stuff. So you've got the invitation link, you've got the expiration date, which will be the subscription expiration date. And you've got what your benefits history is i'd reword benefits history that doesn't really make sense for the west but subscription log maybe so at the minute you don't actually have to have an account it doesn't ask you to log on when you install the app so i'm going to install the mac os arm 64 version because i've got the silicon m2 ultra one uh, or pro whatever it is and i've already installed it in, in, the, in the past now the version numbers on this is they've actually updated it i'm sure they have because it's working better and um, there's an ad on there now for the air to sign up to get the air. That wasn't there initially when I tried it a couple of days ago. So I reckon this is actually the second. So it's all installed and we're going to run it. So slide across to wherever the hell it is. It's da -da -da. Now we're going to get a security issue on here. And it happens that whatever you install it to, you're going to get this kind of security issue. Now on the Mac, you just go to the finder, hold down option and then run it and it'll just run. Um, but the the reason for this is because it's not actually on the official app stores yet. So on the iPhone, it's on the uh, you have to use Test Flight. On Mac, you've got to do the whole whole option to then force run it. On Android, it'll say it's not from the store. It's an unauthorized app, so you got to allow that and then run it. It that's just how it all works. Um, so you've got this, which is the new ad thing. So that's new, and then you've got me there. And we're on direct, so all of our traffic is currently just going through the normal internet. And you've got the familiar smart route, full route, and direct. And those are the nodes. So put it on full route, Western Europe, and it's done. You can see there, green arrows from my house to that house, and I'm on full route. So now let's check it out. So we're going to go back to the speed test, and let's look at the speed test. Straight away, you'll notice that is way faster than what you would get with an actual deeper device. 130 megabytes per second. I mean, if we look at the uh, information, client, Brussels, and there's the IP address that we're connected to. So it's definitely working. It's definitely on full route. The latency is 50 milliseconds, which is really good. Loaded 271, but that's completely normal because it's got data traffic. And the upload speed was about 10. So let's go to what's my ip.org and let's see if it reports correctly on that. We're just going to do a few little tests here. So yeah, so you can see there IP address that's definitely not a UK IP address. Mine usually starts 96 or 94. Um and you can see the host name BC, so that will be Bel Belgium or something, Belgian center. Now let's test something else. Let's go to Netflix. Nice little favourite thing that we like to do. So if you want to watch Netflix from Belgium, we're going to look in the top left. And you can see, let's see there, Netflix Belgium. So it works. 
Awesome. How good is that? And uh, yeah, and it's super quick. I mean, you could stream on that, no problem at all. 130 megabits per second. That's, that's, that's just rapid. That's absolutely rapid. Um, yeah, see, 210. Still in Brussels. 170. Again, you know, with my usual in, uh, in internet, I would get one one gigabit. However, I've been having problems. On my iPhone, I was at Man Manchester and I was in 5G. When the app first came out, I got 500 megabits per second. At least that. And I mean, with that, you could just leave it on all the time. All the time. You know? So, awesome. Let's... Uh, Let's try. Let's go to Japan. We're going to add the uh, routes. You see smart route there. Connects pretty much immediately to all the different little smart route places. And if you go to the tunnels page, you can see there's all the tunnels. So China, all the pings as well. So you can see the kind of lay, latency in regard to it. So Singapore, US. GB is disconnected because obviously I'm in the GB in the UK. So... That is disconnected for me, which is fine. And let's add another country. Let's let's add Tokyo or Japan even. Uh Paul, no. Let's uh yeah. Da -da -da, Japan. Nice. And click add. So this is very similar to what you would do with a deeper device. And go down the bottom and there you have it. So it's disconnected all of the tunnels because we've added a new one. That might be a bug, so should report that. Let's go back. And Let's have a look. There we go. So we're back on. And let's go back to tunnels and see if it's updated. There we go. So connected. So disconnected for the UK and connected to Japan. One node, 527 milliseconds, but it is around the world. So we're back on full route and we're on uh, the Japan thing, uh, tunnel. Let's go to a brand new incognito tab and let's go to fast.com and let's just see what speed we get on the other side of the planet. Fast.com. And this is really cool. So the ping is obviously going to be much, much higher. And there is currently, I think, a bug with Smart Route. It's not quite as good as what it should 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 be. It doesn't direct quite as well. But Full Route is working amazing. And, I mean, look at the speeds you're getting. If you connected to a deeper node in Japan through a device, I don't know if you'd get that. I mean, that's pretty quick. So 70 megabits per second, 65. Let's have a look. So you can see there, latency 275-ish, uh, Tokyo, Japan, and the upload speed. I mean, that is perfectly fine for net Netflix. I mean, streaming, downloading stuff, browsing, it's, it's, it's great. It's brilliant. And I'm so impressed, like, this, um, if they continue on the way they're going with this app and they do the user interface updates and it all works out, then amazing. I mean, look, they've got Android, iOS, Windows, both Macs, so the Intel Mac and the Silicon Mac, and Linux as well. That's 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 the whole lot. And Express v VPN and NordVPN, they won't give you speed, speeds like that. You know, 500 megabits. 220 megabits not a chance and what i can't get my head around is that this is free i mean it's free at the minute and you don't need an account and they have a genuine no logs policy there are there are no no logs it's not a case of we won't share anything it's the case that they can't and it's just brilliant um if this kicks off right if the user interface gets done and all the little bugs are being worked out and to be fair there aren't that many and they get their official release this is going to be absolutely huge, huge. It could cripple everybody else. I mean, you know, NordVPN, CyberGhost, all those all those big companies that charge sub subscriptions each year of like sixty pounds, eighty pounds. They're screwed, like, and they do have logs as well. Um, I mean, this is brilliant, and Mysterium have got their app coming out for testing next month, I think. Um, but it's not going to be anywhere near as good as this. No chance. And this is this is great. Um, the token price doesn't really reflect the app. I mean, it took a bit of a nosedive a little bit when this news was, was released, not specifically because of the news, but I just think it's the way it's going at the minute. Now, don't forget we have a 500-sub giveaway. Um, 
of a mini SE. And please, please, please download the app, give it a go. It's free and report any bugs that you find. And let's get this app top notch. So when it hits the stores, the app stores, it just flies and everybody has it and it blows up. And there's one really important point that I just want to make before we go. And that is some places in the world, they can't have these deeper connect devices. They, they just can't have them. They get stopped at customs. Iran is a big one. That stops everything. I've had loads of people from Iran saying, Look, I can't access Snapchat or my bank. You know, can deeper, will a deeper device work? How do I get it? All right. All they have to do now is download the app. So if they've got a Windows laptop, just get somebody to email them the file or they can get a USB stick with it on and just plug it in, install it, and it's done. I want to hear from you. If you're from Iran, all right, and you've got these blocks and you can access services outside Iran, past the government blocks, let me know. Because if that is the case and this kind of allows you to access the outside world, despite the government blocks that may be in place, that is huge. That is a real tool for on online sov sovereignty really um so okay thank you very much this video has gone a bit longer i've kind of rambled on a bit however download the app give it a go let me know in the comments below what you think the link is going to be in the, in the, the, the description below as well and report any bugs we've been waiting for this and they've done a cracking job so let's show some support on them thanks guys enjoy the rest of your weekend and i'll see you on sunday Bye bye